are back out on Crown Land again harvesting another tree. Um, we are finishing up our log house for the pigs. So we're back here again today and hopefully we'll get the rest of the wood that we need to finish this project. So this year, uh, one of our main goals was to expand our pig operation a little bit and build some new pens. We unfortunately weren't able to finish a permanent electric fence pen for in the summertime, so I'm hoping that we can get to that next year. But what we were able to do was add two additional pens to our pig operation, which allows us to keep back a few more feeders every year and to increase our sows. So I'm hoping that we can have more piglets in the spring and be able to raise more pigs for people throughout the rest of the season. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of what we have done so far this year. Don't mind the mess. It's a little bit of a disaster back here. But if you weren't aware before, this is our original setup that we built um, last fall. So we built a farrowing pen, a sow pen, and a boar pen. And that was what we started out with. Um, we ended up raising the gates up. I don't know if you watched our pig pen tour video a few videos back, um, but we had originally put the gates right down to the ground because as you know, pigs like to dig and root under things and we were scared that they might escape. But we ended up raising up those gates because it was just too hard to open them and move pigs around. And this works a lot better. We put some boards down <clears throat> to prevent them from digging out. And what we did this year was we built these two additional pens. So we've got one pen here 
and one pen on the other side there. We've got a gate here, here, and on the other side as well. For easy moving between pens, um, all we have to do if we want to move sows over there is just open up this gate here and move them over there. This here where I'm standing is going to serve as our alleyway in the future. So far it's just open, which works out good because we're able to feed in here and get in there and whatever. But eventually we're going to put a gate here, I believe, so that it's easier to move pigs around without worrying about them getting out. We didn't get to that this year. But we got these two new pens, which is going to be great because now if we have some feeders that we want to raise throughout the winter time, we can do that. Um, we're not in such a rush and panic to get rid of pigs in the fall before winter time because we know that we have room. So we've got these two pens here and we just finished their shelter, which is a log house made out of spruce. So we spent quite a while making that. With the price of lumber, we just chose to go ahead and make a structure out of logs that we harvested out of the bush ourselves. And I still don't know if it was the right choice or not because it just took a lot more time than I was anticipating. But it's done now, so I'm glad that that's there. And then we have this other pen, which we can also use for feeders or sows or whatever we want to use it for. Um, and I built a little pallet house that we were using before we finished up that shelter. So that is what we built so far this year. I'm thinking next year we're going to make our boar pen a little bit bigger and hopefully add another pen so we can have a second boar. I would like to venture into maybe the purebred Herefords or maybe Hampshire, not sure yet, but um, leaning a little bit more towards the Hereford side. But anyways, it would be nice to have another boar and expand Hammy's pen there so he has a bit more room. It's also nice to have a boar for gilts that isn't quite as big as him because he's a big boy. He weighs probably 650 pounds and he's definitely a little too big for gilts. So that's what we got done this year. Here in the bush is our burn pile. We already burnt it once last year, but we filled it all back up with logs again because this portion here was all forest this spring. And we put all these logs here to burn. And I'm hoping that we can get rid of most of these trees on this corner closest to me so that we can back up a trailer down this trail and right up to that chute I was talking about. So easier loading, especially of the bigger pigs that are a lot heavier that you can't necessarily manhandle very well. 